I said she was just petty. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Gone Girl with Ben Affleck. Now, the only thing I know about this movie is that it's a murder mystery, and that's about all I know. But I've seen this movie recommended quite a bit down in the comments, so I figured we should check it out. The summary just says, Ben Affleck is the prime suspect in his famous wife's disappearance and the twist-filled adaptation of the acclaimed bestseller. And apparently, the twist in this movie is insane, and I'll never see it coming, so it is, it is the goal to predict it. I never get these right, but I'm still gonna try and I'm probably not gonna be anywhere close. So, but anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full interaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next couple movies that I do will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. July 5th, the morning of. Well, post July 4th murderer. I got your present. Oh, I hated this thing. I already love her. Day. Amy? It's our anniversary. Five years. Five? Who are you? I'm the guy to save you from all this awesomeness. I give his Riz like a, like a six out of ten. I have to kiss you now. Is that right? I can't let you go through a sugar storm unkissed. Oh my god, stop. That was the worst line of dialogue I think I've ever heard. Oh my god, alright, that somehow worked. Somehow that worked. I really like you. You really like him or his tongue? So would you get her? I know. Go home, f her brains out, slap her with your penis. <laughs> There's some wood for you, bitch. Jesus. What are you doing out here? She was murdered. I don't know where my wife is, and I came home to this. Impressive gal. Yeah. Should I be concerned? I don't remember. Yes. Amazing f***ing Amy is getting Married. In the next book, Amazing Amy became a prodigy. Play volleyball? I got caught nope. freshman year. She wow. made varsity. It's all fake. Amazing Amy was everything you weren't. <laughs> but that's the point. Does everything the real Amy couldn't. Literally plagiarized your childhood. No, they improved upon it. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a pretty serious homeless problem in our neighborhood. You maybe you guys should check that out. We'll look into that. So, you got- No, they won't. <laughs> Your wife has no friends here. Is she kind of standoffish? I, yeah, I can see that, yeah. She's complicated. She's... Can they get here in time for this press conference tomorrow? Tomorrow? I have no idea. I haven't talked to her. You haven't called your wife's parents I yet? I mean, you can't get a... Oh, my God. I think I've been in here talking to you. Well, call them, been please, busy. Nick, now. God bless Jane Austen. Dude, in the f***ing bookstore? Oh, my... You're so cute. I want to punch us in the face. That's pretty cool. You can say it. It's just me and you. Just because I don't like to be around Amy doesn't mean I don't care about her. <laughs> I, yeah, I love how honest she is. There's definitely blood spatter you saw in the kitchen. Normally kitchen knives, food prep, not that weird, but that is awfully high. So, mm, interesting. Mm. What's that? House is rented in her name. Credit cards, utilities, phone bill, all in her name. Well, we have our first clue. Clue one, wow. All right, so the murderer is just went with us. All right, cool. Okay, I have a first, I have a theory, I have a theory. Okay, we were 25 minutes into this movie and she's not confirmed dead yet. I feel like they're never gonna confirm that she's dead. They're just gonna have to assume that eventually because they can't find her. And there might be like some compelling evidence that, that implies she's dead, but really she is alive. And she's the one who left that clue one or whatever. Like, it was supposed to just be for Nick here to, like, be f***ing with him or whatever. And he's supposed to find her. But obviously, he freaked out and called the cops because of everything, you know? Just a way bigger deal than it was ever meant to be. I doubt that's true. But that would seem like a pretty solid twist. Imagine our confusion. Missing person's case. And in your wife's dressing room, we find an envelope marked clue. That's... My wife does these treasure hunts. Mm. I'm hoping... Uh, although the spot couldn't be tighter... It's a cozy room for my favorite writer. I know this one. Yeah. Although this spot couldn't be any tighter, maybe I'll teach you. Oh, there, there's more to it. Okay, it's not what I was thinking. Never mind. They did that on purpose. You can give your parents $879,000 without talking to me, but God forbid I buy a video game without getting your permission. You are spending a lot. You don't trust me. Nick, I don't get it. I don't get why you're daring me to be someone I don't want to be. The nagging shrew, the controlling bitch. I'm not that person. I'm your wife. Sorry. I just don't know how to do this. I've never not had a job. Honestly, that could have turned into a really heated argument. 
She de-escalated that really well. He acted like Noel was a complete stranger. Of course he did. Who are these two writers? Oh, look. He's being a good guy. Mm. So everybody can see him being a good guy. Well, you really don't like him, do you? No. What's the like? Sorry. You have to keep your strength. Would you... Mm. Jesus Christ. I, I'm gonna... Would you delete that picture for me? Ah, it's a nice photo. I know it is, but mm. it just do me a favor. It's just bad timing. He just pressed me. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> It's like you're the goddamn homecoming king. He's not doing this for the attention. All I'm trying to do is be nice to the people who are volunteering to help find it. You're right. Try eating grins from a guy whose wife is missing. Bro, okay. How else would you stand next to that? Like, what, you're just supposed to be... You just straight face? I, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't know how to stand next to that thing. Hmm. Oh, uh, who the f are you? I'm in so Wait, he's you. Where have you been? I Wait, uh, he's been f***ing cheating on her with his b I was just asleep in the other room. I needed to see him. I know this is bad. Oh my I god. You love me. I do. No. Oh my god. What a f***ing piece of shit. Did you, by any chance, tell anybody anything about us? I know, sweetie. Did you leave a pair of red panties in my office? I don't know. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? You are going to get a divorce. Never say that out loud again. Otherwise, I don't exist. Last night, I went from desperate to pathetic. The kind of woman I used to mock. You're out so much. I know. Well, then can I come? You would hate it. It's a bunch of my dorky high school friends. No, he's gonna go f that other girl, that like in the splash bag. He's been cheating on her. Maybe it's time. Now is literally the worst time. A child is not a hobby. Not a hobby. We could have had this fight four hours ago. I'm late. God damn. You no, know it was gonna be a fight. You really want to be the couple that has a baby to save their marriage? Oh, fuck. Like this? Oh, really? I won't. You won't? You won't? But it's not good enough for you? It's not even close. Jesus. What scared me wasn't that he'd push me. What scared me was that I'd finally realized I am Jesus. frightened of my own husband. Jesus. Okay, I don't think Ben Affleck murdered her. It's not him because it's too obvious. My first theory, done. She knows their marriage is over or whatever, so she faked her own death to get all the spotlight on him because she knows how it would play out and how everyone would think, oh, he's just playing the nice guy, whatever, right? How old? they think he's a suspect. And then the mom said, you, you look like the homecoming king whatever, right? It's her way to get back at him. It has to be something like that. We will talk every day. Okay, we will. Um, every day, Nick. We'll go crazy. Mm. She's gonna rat on him later. Like, he's not gonna talk to her every day. F***ing idiot. Oh! You f***ing asshole. You f***ing lied to my f***ing face. How long? A year and a half. You lied oh. to me? It wasn't like that, okay? You have no idea how shitty it was with Amy. How f***ing terrible she made me feel. If anybody finds out, you're totally f***ing. Boney found a pair of panties in my office. What is wrong with his barkeep? His wife's nowhere to be found, and here's Nick Dunn for you flirting. Cute. But yeah, see how the news is portraying him right now? Amy knew that this type of shit would happen. She's gonna destroy his public image, and that was her plan the entire time. I'm watch. I'm probably completely wrong. <laughs> she feels like that type of penny, so that's why I'm going for that. It is Amy's type B, and we should have DNA soon. The trajectory indicates blunt force. Maybe a club two by four. Maybe she is dead. My wife says he's a killer. Well, it's not him. It's not no. It's not him. They should do a circle. Where's your wife, Nick? Let, Let the, the police, police do their, their job. job. What did you do to your pregnant wife? It's fine. You tell him that, Nick. You tell him Amy was six weeks pregnant. Was that true? Was it? This area right here, it looked wrong from the second we saw it. Whole thing looked staged. I mean, watch this. Because we better look at your finances, Nick. $117,000 in credit card debt. <sighs> All right, well, let's talk about life insurance. Because in April, you bumped mm. up Amy's life insurance to $1.2 million. Dude, I'm so, I'm kind of conflicted right now because before we found out that he's cheat that he was cheating on her and that he treated her like shit at home and everything, like, I was rooting for him. Until we found out about those two things. I still don't think it was him that did it. Like, no. Oh I like how she bet the cab before she left. Oh. 
Mm, oh, it's her entire diary. He may truly kill me. Yeah, they're gonna read all this and just think it's him even more. Mm. Oh shit. Oh, it's everything that was purchased on the credit card! I am so much happier now that I'm dead. <gasps> Technically missing. Yep, she faked it! <laughs> Olivia's husband will go to prison for my murder. Mm-hmm. Nick Dunn took my pride and my dignity and my hope and my money. Wow. You befriend a local mm -hmm. idiot. Harvest the details of her humdrum life. So that's why Nick never knew they were friends. Clock is ticking. Wow. Meticulously yep. stage your crime scene. You need to bleed. A lot. And she dumped it, cleaned it up, knowing they would find it. Minimum 300 entries on the Nick and Amy story. Wow. Start with the fairy tale early days. The abuse, the fear, the threat of violence. And Nick thought he was the writer. Wow. I said she was just petty. He was cheating on her and he did treat her like shit, but I... But dude, she's framing him for a murder. <laughs> she is a writer, so she came up with a perfect story. She had a perfect plan and everything. This is, wow. I was willing to try. I wax strip my pussy raw. <laughs> you think I'd let him destroy me and end up happier than ever? No fucking way. <laughs> he doesn't get to win. It's so petty. Grown-ups work for things. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, if it, uh, this is just psychotic. She's willing to do all of this just to get back at him. She's willing to hit herself in the face with a hammer. She's framing me for her murder. You married mm -hmm. a complete psychopath. The morning yeah. of our anniversary, I was going to ask her for a divorce. Does Missouri have the death penalty? I would assume. It's a mood. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> so, uh, where are you from? Let me guess. She has nothing to do with his neighbor. Who had no business being in a ball. And before he kissed me, he leaned in and did this. I did the same thing to her. Dude, honestly, yeah, that would be devastating for Amy. Like, I, you just see the look on her face. Like, her heart just sank to her stomach. She's still fucking crazy for what she did, but like, it's gut wrenching, though, to see that. What's the plan? Well, right now, it's a he said, she said. She's telling a better story. No, Nick. She is telling the perfect story. Then we'll need to realign the public's perception of Amy. Make them stop seeing her as America's sweetheart and see her for what she is. We'll need other voices besides yours. There has to be someone out there that she screwed with in the past. It's a New York guy. She said that he stalked her. He's in St. Louis. You go talk to Tom, you know, draw up the contract. All right, she already found him. Tommy? Yeah. He's gonna spill some shit. He's gonna spill some tea on her. Oh, I love if just once someone was like, she was a real rag. <laughs> Seems like a rich bitch to me. <laughs> People love her. Mm. Well, rich girl, married a cheating asshole, paid the ultimate price. Oh, that pissed her off. Why was that? Ew. Ah. Time yeah. <laughs> Number of times he visited last year, one. Oh, Twin yeah, that's Margo. terrible. Well, she is a <laughs> his sister. While I never examined Nick or his sister, they both seem very, very close. Oh, I'd stop portraying that. Honestly, I'm not rooting for Nick here, but I do like his sister. I don't want them portraying his sister in a bad light. So that's the only reason why I don't like that. But it's like, who am I rooting for here? I don't know. <laughs> New plan. You were together for two years in boarding school, right? She was my first serious girlfriend. Mm. Why did you break up? That's a strange question. Yeah, this dude's, this dude's a fucking weirdo. The end. Why'd he go to his dad's house to burn it? It's private. There's no one there. Well, why didn't he make sure it actually burned? Mmm. Yeah. That was Amy's mistake. This detective's not gonna fall for it. She's gonna see right through it and realize it's Amy. Keep talking. So she finds out I've been cheating on her with Andy, decides to teach me a lesson. Fakes her own death, frames me. The treasure hunt is critical. She's taking us on a tour of my infidelity village. Clue three. Woodshed. Also a location. Oh my right. god. We have limited <laughs> options. A hotel. Amy would say. Yeah. Andy's credit card. Andy's statement went right to her parents. Ew. Like, <laughs> Andy won't do that. She will. They always do. Don't take it personally. 
We need to tell the cops about Andy. Oh, really? Right now, Andy just gives you another motive. They'll go after Margot. They can't mm -hmm. do that, can they? She's your accomplice. She helped you hide the evidence. In all likelihood, she knows that you killed Amy. Oh. Oh, <laughs> poor Margo. We three are the saddest sex in all the Ozarks. Hmm, Ozarks. Why should I die? I'm not the asshole. Yep, she's not doing that anymore. Oh! I thought you said you were broke. Fat wad. Mm hmm. It's mostly singles. Dude, honestly, they might try and rob her later. They, no, she has a little bit of money. Tanner has a very bad idea. He's going to pitch you. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing Sharon Sheba tomorrow, St. Louis. You go so wrong. And you are going to tell her about Andy. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a guy admitting that he's a gigantic asshole on television. People empathize with him. And Amy's going to see this on TV and be like, because <laughs> she knows what he's doing. She'll see he's trying to fix the, his public image and then, ah. Say goodbye. Mm. I'll come by before. Let us give you a They're robbing her. Under the bed? I'll I'm... make sure nothing's stuck. Oh, it's... She, she moved it. Where is the money, sweetheart? He talked you into this? I talked him into it. <laughs> I don't think you've ever really been hit before. No! Uh, oh! Yeah. Next place, be more careful, okay? There are a lot of people out there a lot worse than we are. Yeah, we had some tough years. Um, lost my job. You both did. At a certain point, we got on the wrong track. I had a moment of weakness. Yep. Your moment was over 15 months. <laughs> this lawyer's grilling him. <laughs> okay, one thing I'm really liking about this movie is how good the writing is. Like, it's doing a really good job of making you go back and forth on who, like, you're kind of rooting for in here. I threatened to leave, and mm. he said he'd find me, and he'd kill me. Oh my god. Yeah, now she's just gonna manipulate this dude to like help her out and every oh my god. Three days ago, he tracked me from my letters to you. Knowing you were out there was the only thing that's kept me going these past few years. <laughs> Go to the Jesus Christ. Go live for that story now. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, she already came. Ah. Before Nick could say it. It's just got very exciting. Well, we need a moment. Nick, you're just gonna have to improvise, I guess. Completely different dynamic. I can handle this. She's going to eat you alive. Like this. Wine cellars downstairs. Yeah, she doesn't care about you, dog. We'll be recorded. Mm hmm. She can't even leave. And I am not letting you get away again. Mm -hmm. Alright, this was a psycho, too. Yeah. That's why she left him. That's why she didn't try and him over or anything. He was probably too much for her, but then and the other dude, she tried to fuck over. I'm not a good guy. I was a bad husband to a great... <laughs> Amy's face. Those are pretty words. Man. Oh, dude, yeah, she's, eat she's eating it up. I promise to be that guy. That guy who works harder. <laughs> <laughs> They're going crazy for you. They dislike me. They like me. Now they love me. With a candor mm -hmm. and an honesty that's worthy of respect. Oh, oh no, they're here to arrest them, aren't they? Margo Dunn, this is a search warrant for your property. I use Call Tanner. <laughs> all the gifts. It's gonna look yeah, it's gonna look like you just bought all that shit. Killed her, you know. About. Is it clubs you don't play golf with? None of that is mine. None of this was put here by me. Those are nice Dude, clubs. You should have moved all this shit. Amy? It's time to move on. She can't. No, Amy will never move on. I'll move in here tomorrow. And we'll work it out together. <laughs> she does not want that. Dude, she's, I feel like she's actually scared of Desi. We tell Boney very little. Without a body, without a murder weapon, their mm -hmm. only hope is a confession. Yep. So you let them do all the talking. That way we can jumpstart your defense. Like she said earlier, it's really hard to prove a homicide without a body. Like, it adds up to me. Like, she did a really good job of framing it, so. What's your wife's handwriting? It's not a handwriting. I think so. It looks like it. Just <laughs> Absolutely not. I never touched her. Was she lying about the part where he, like, shoved her into the stairwell? That was from her perspective, so she could have been lying about that. But him, you know, obviously him cheating on her with Andy, like, that, we saw that from his perspective. So that's, that's true. She totally could have lied about him shoving her. More coffee? I'd love it. She's gonna rape this fool too. <laughs> She's making a move. She... <sighs> she cut his lip, you know, messes his hair up, messes everything up. 
Make it look like they just got into a fight. Oh, yep. Oh, that looks really bad on camera, yeah. Oh. Oh my god, she's so good. I feel like, I feel like she's gonna get caught. She's gonna get caught for framing him and caught for framing Desi here. And then she's gonna be the one who's going to prison. She actually fucking killed him. I thought she was just gonna frame him, but no. It is a Jesus Christ. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Ms. Dunn, I know what you've been through, so we'll keep this very brief. She's on painkiller. She's gonna mess up. I opened the door. She's gonna catch where she went wrong. I'd hidden some puppets at Ghost. Then how did Desi have that handle? It must have fallen off. The detective's so familiar with the case, she's gonna find a flaw in her story. How'd she manage to get a hold of a box cutter? He had her tied up the whole time. Can't you just be happy your wife is home and safe? Okay, don't overlook that. And why did you try to buy a gun? If I could just clarify one thing. This case had been left in your deeply incompetent hands. Oh. My husband would be on death row. Jesus Christ. And I'd be tied still. Love you, baby. All right, I'll get the f off my property. All right, you can stop pretending now. Mm. <laughs> I'm not pretending. <laughs> you need to tell me exactly what happened. I want that man. I'm leaving. Shampoo? Dude, she has it like this now. They'll destroy you. Neighbors will shun you. And I'll make sure. Y you literally can't leave. I don't know if I'd be able to sleep in the same house as her. Yes. Yeah. Oh, he's not even going to sleep. Feds now, they're done. That doesn't mean you have to be done. It does. You know you can sleep with me, right? <laughs> I'm good. I mean, technically, she can't do anything for now because if he just randomly dies, then it's like, okay. He, that's his lever. That's his protection for now. Given time, she'll make a move, so. You can teach those people to hate me all you want. I don't care. I am leaving you. Yeah, honestly, he doesn't give a f people hate him. He just doesn't want to be framed for murder. He'll do that all by himself. Oh, you oh. I'm the you married him. You think you'd be happy with a nice Midwestern girl? No way, baby. I'm it. Oh, fuck. You're delusional. You cause each other pain. That's marriage. <laughs> My God. Not about what I want anymore. You want to stay with her? Does he? Like Loki? Nah, just for the child. We're partners in crime. Interesting choice of words. We're gonna be parents. <gasps> oh. Dude, dude, she's scary. What have we done to each other? Oh. All right. Well, that was a gone girl. Both these people are psychos. <laughs> okay, so this movie, the writing in this movie was phenomenal. It really got you going back and forth a bit on who to root for. But honestly, in the end, I was rooting for Nick. I was not rooting for Amy at all in the end right there. In the beginning, you root for Nick. Then from Amy's perspective, you find out what he did, right? After like he cheated on her and he shoved her on the stairwell, you feel really bad for Amy. But then you see her whole plan and then you're like, wait, hold on, hold on. He cheated on her. That's fucked up. That's terrible. That's not right at all. That was real because we also saw that from Nick's perspective. Him shoving her against the stairwell, though, since that was from Amy's perspective, that didn't happen. She was lying about that because that's what she wrote down, you know, for the cops to find and all that in there was fake. Like, she wasn't writing that throughout the years. She just wrote it all in the span of like a couple weeks. Her revenge was way worse okay she was going to destroy his life but that's the type of girl she is she fucked over that other guy too nick met with and then desi he was just too much for her like she couldn't stand him at all it's because he was too into her like he liked her too much and she was like no 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 you know like with nick and her last guy I, I, i'm blanking on his name the last guy said he backed off of her a little bit and then then she did what she did to him and then nick also was doing the same thing he back he was cheating on her so he wasn't as into her anymore but then desi the guy who actually like wanted her she was just like no 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 
And so once, okay, once I realized, okay, he didn't actually shove her or hit her earlier in the movie, then I was like, okay, I'm rooting for him now. Like, fuck Amy, 100%. This bitch is a psycho. I, <sighs> I will say though, she is good. She is really good at this. She is one of the crazy ones. And you know what they say about the girl. I'm just kidding. The portrayal of Amy reminded me a lot of like American Psycho in a way, just like how, like how this type of stuff just doesn't register to either of them, how it's like fucked up, you know, like they don't care. It doesn't matter to them. I felt like it was portrayed in a similar enough way. Not exactly the same, but similar enough. But that's what really sells it. I know the actress that played her, like I recognize her, but I don't know her name. Rosamund Pike. She's a really good actress. Actually, wait, I'm looking at her movies. I haven't seen like any of this. What the hell? Okay, well, I've definitely seen her before in something. But yeah, when she was narrating what she was writing in the beginning of the movie in the first hour, she just seemed like such a petty person going through all this, like just the way she was writing. That's what made me think that, okay, no, she faked, she faked her death and she did this. And it was right. I actually got that right. I'm pretty shocked, honestly. But it's like, who, who could have like legitimately killed her? You know, it's obviously not Ben Affleck, Nick here so besides him it's like there's really no true suspect here it would have to be like someone so random you never would see coming you know like someone who barely was going to be in the movie and like other murder mysteries it's usually someone who's not really in the movie that much like they have a fair they have a little bit of screen time but they don't have a, like too much but i will say i do appreciate how well thought out her first plan was against nick see like as disturbing as this role is it's also really interesting towards the end of the movie when she was in the hospital talking to all the police i thought she was going to get caught right there i thought I thought she was done. I thought it was wrapped. Her story was going to be inconsistent because at first it was, okay, she was framing Nick and then she had to switch up her story to get away from Desi or whatever. What her plan for Nick will never match up with Desi, but she just, you know, she played the victim and she was able to finesse her way out of that. Didn't really have a resolution at the end. Like Nick's just stuck with her basically <laughs> like, fuck. I mean, yeah, maybe his sister was right. Like maybe he does want to be with her and he just doesn't want to admit it. But yeah, that was Gone Girl. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video and thanks for watching.